team was 8-4 last year. They were 5-2 and two in the Southland. They are a 1-AA team, and Dave will share something with you about the significance of this game a little bit later on. Here's the kickoff, and this has got a chance to go into the end zone. And uh, right there his hands are now taking the knee. Sammy Davis will bring the ball out to the 20. All right, here we go in our first offensive play of the year. They'll open up with an offset eye in the backfield. The trailing back, the tailback will be the freshman Keith Joseph that got a slot to the left. Now they set up in a straight eye. Ferris with the snap, and he hands off to Joseph. Hits the line, and just around the ankles. A guy brings him down at about the 22-yard line. Bags come out with a two-tight end formation. And wideouts on both sides. Throw out in the flats. Bethel at the 25-yard line. Drags a man with him. He just picked up a first down across the 30 to the 31-yard line. And they come out with two tight ends. Do the Ags. And a single setback. Keith Joseph. Long count by Ferris. Now he hands off to Joseph. Cut it back to his left. He's going to get some yardage on this one. At the 40. 45. Tries to juke a man at the 50. Spins away from him. Goes to the 47-yard line. First down and 10 at the 40. Close to the 47. Hash mark to the left. Single setback. Slot right. And again a long count. Play action. Now he hands off. It's going to go to Weber. Weber will get maybe a half yard. And he may have, was that Oshler Fleming? Oshler Fleming on the carry. Got a half yard. There goes Jamar Taylor out to the left side. And here on the uh, near side again in the ball game, Terrence Murphy. He's a freshman. He's a split in here on the right side, the open side. Play action, rolling to his right, throwing. Ball's going to be caught on the sideline, and it's Murphy. And he's out of bounds at the 28-yard line. Wayne Goins over on the left side. Here on the right side, that will be Johnson. And the pitch goes to Joseph, looking for the left corner, hit and driven to the sideline at the 25-yard line. Looking at that offensive line, I don't see any changes. The tight end on the left side is Delatore, offset in the backfield. And here is Ferris, straight roll to the right, throwing the football off the hands of Bethel Johnson. Terrence Thomas is in the lineup, another freshman. He's a wide out here on the right side. From a shotgun, here's Ferris, he's hit. He has fumbled the ball, and I think the, did the Aggies get it back? They did not. It's been picked up by McNeese at about the 50-yard line, and they're going to run it in. Everything is in order. They just got themselves a touchdown, and a flag has been dropped. I think they're going to get him for excessive celebration. The X Extra point attempt will be spotted down at the 25 yard line after the penalty. This is A Bear. Snap spotted down, kicks up. Looks like it has the distance. It's no good. It's off to the right side. We'll keep the score 6 0 with 11.36 to go here in the first quarter. McNeese on a fumble recovery and a return for the touchdown. I think it's going to go about 55 yards. McNeese ready to kick off for the second time tonight. They have just scored on a fumble recovery. Return for a touchdown by Brad Archie, making it 6 to nothing. And apparently Ryan Garrison is the man who blindsided Ferris, who had dropped back in the pocket. Here's the kick. And Davis, about two yards deep, is going to bring it out to the 10, to the 20. He's out to the 30-yard line. But it's 6 to nothing, McNeese. Day. At the other right side, shotgun, backs either side. Uh, Ferris throws out in the flats and caught behind the line of scrimmage for a six-yard loss. The Ags send three wides here on the right side, including Jamar Taylor, the transfer from Notre Dame. Porter's there, Goins is there. Single setback to the left of Ferris. As the snap, drops back, sets up, throws, caught out at the 30-yard line, and dropped immediately. That'll be Jamar Taylor. Here's third down and 10 for AM. Shotgun Ferris running back to his right. As it drops back to his 22, pumps once, now forced out of the pocket, throws, caught by Taylor. Not enough for a first down. He gets it out to the 39. Personal foul against Texas AM. And so bring uh, Cody Skates out on the field. 52 kicks, a 40.2 yard average, as long as 65 last year. That came against Baylor. He had one block. And the most punts he had in the game last year was against Notre Dame in the opener when he had eight. Here is the snap. It's a good one. And the punts, a nice high spiral. Dropping all the way back to the 21-yard line. And wrapped up inside the 20 at the 19-yard line will be Aaron Pierce, their punt return man. He returned seven last year for a 4.6 average, a 55-yard kick. 
So now Slade Nagel in his offense. He put a man in motion, and they have handed off to Jermaine Martin on an end around. Spins away from the first man, and he got that one all the way out to the 28-yard line. Slade Nagel last year hit 56.8% of his passes for 2,222 yards. They hand off to the fullback, Luke Lawton. They wanted a first down. They got it. He goes to the 31-yard line, a two-yard pickup. First down and 10 for McNeese. Hash right. Line of scrimmage is the 31. The center out over the ball is Chuck Gordon. Turns around, asks for the snap count. Drop back, throw over the middle. Ball will be caught and then knocked down immediately after a gain of about three yards. Second down and seven coming up. 8-12 to go in the first. The Aggies fail six to nothing. Line left, line right, offset in the backfield. Play action, Nagel throwing under some pressure, throws high and flags go down as it goes incomplete across the 50. Here is Randy Crystal. Ineligible receiver on the offense. It's a five-yard penalty and remains second down. It's going to be second down and 11. The ball moved back inside or across their 30. High on the snap out of a shotgun, a delay out of the backfield as they hand off to Aaron Pierce, a 5'7 junior out of New Orleans. He's caught after a small gain of maybe two yards. Third down and nine. 6-0 the score, seven and a half to go on the first McNeese lead. Shotgun running back to his left. Two wides on the left side of the formation. Drops back across the 25, throws, and a flag goes down, and Harold Robertson almost had an interception. Offensive pass interference will be called against McNeese. Pass interference on the offense. The Declined decline. by a &M. Fourth down. And this should be Sean Weston. He's slated to be our punt return man this year. He's back there waiting on the David Latta punt. He averaged 40 a kick on 56 kicks last season. A little low. Jay Brooks was coming up the middle. Kicks a little bit a little bit to the right. And now here's Weston. Got by one man. 25. He's back to the 30-yard line. It's first down and 10 for AM at their own 30. They've just thrown behind the line of scrimmage on a forward pass, however. Off the fingertips. Incomplete. Offset in the backfield as the Aggies come back to the line on second down and 10. The first play was an incomplete pass. Put a man in motion, sliding across the uh, line of scrimmage was Joel Weber. A delay out of the backfield, caught and dropped inside the 25. At the 24 was Oshler Fleming. Shotgun with uh, Fleming to the left of Ferris. Three wides on the right, one to the left. No tight end in this formation. Here's a third down snap. Drops back to his 16. Has time. Looking now, he is being pressured. Chased from the backside. Coming back this way. Sidearms one into the sideline. Out about the 40-yard line, trying to get it to Jamar Taylor. Taylor had no chance. And standing back now at about the 30-yard uh, line once more will be Aaron Pierce. Pierce had no return his last time. There was some pressure coming, and Skates just did get the kick away. Fair catch called for and taken at the 38-yard line. McNeese into the field, and they will set up shop first down and 10 at their own 38. That punt went 38 yards, so a 55 and a 38 for Skates. He's going to get his average up over 40 yards for the season, I guarantee you. He's a fine, fine punter, and we hope he does a great job at place kicking since he's all we have right now. Two wide outs with a single setback play action. Nagel throwing, and it's going to be caught at midfield. That's going to be Martin slipped the first tackle, and he's out of Bound, steps out at the Aggie 44 and a half yard line. That was an Aggie timeout apparently. First down and 10. McNeese hash mark to the right, operating at AM's 45. They lead 6 0. 556 to go in the first. Throw a quick pass and uh, intercepted and dropped immediately by Texas AM. Apparently, Mark Ferris is limping on the sideline and Vance Smith is warming up directly in front of us. Here's a draw out of the backfield. Goes to Pierce, cuts it right side 40. And at the 35-yard line and out of the 33, we'll go Aaron Pierce. That's a first down for McNeese. Out of a deep eye, a straight-ahead handoff, and that carry goes to Marcus Trahan. He hits the line of scrimmage as they try to establish something up the middle. Didn't work. The Aggies stopped it. Jay Brooks was the man of the minute. Balls at the Aggie 33-yard line. Two wides right, two to the left. Shotgun for Nagel. Running back to his right. Drops back to the 41. Throws the ball. Caught by B.J. Sams. Got away from one man. Won't get away from the rest. Not enough for a first down as he goes to the 28-yard line. That'll be a pickup of about six. It'll be third down and four coming up. Slot to the right, slot to the left. Short side of the formation is on this side of the field to the left of Nagel, their quarterback. Here's third down and four, under pressure. Throw the ball. May have been intercepted, and I think that's no, incomplete. Caught it off the turf. And that should be Terrence Keel. It is. He caught it off the turf. Charlie Abair was 12 of 23 on field goals last year. His longest was 40. 
And this is a 45-yard effort. The angle back to the right. David Latta, the putter, is the holder. Puts it down, kicks on the way. It looks like it has enough. And that one's good. And just like that, McNeese leads by a score of 9 to nothing. It's 9 nothing, McNeese. Just kicked off, and Sammy Davis has taken it a yard deep, brings it out to the 15, runs into, right into one of his own men. The ball's been fumbled, but AM got it back. Davis ran into one of the Aggies. And they took a 45-yard field goal by Charlie Abair to lead this game 9 to nothing at the 414 mark of the first quarter. Harris has remained in the ball game, and he hands off to Weber, and Weber hits the line, and he's going to be dropped for a yard loss. He got to the 16. There's Ferris bringing him up to the line. Seth McKinney out over the ball, offset in the backfields. Keith Joseph is the tailback. Weber is the fullback, and they put him in motion. Run the option, going back to the left. The deep pitch to Joseph. He's looking for the corner. They run him out of bounds. Joseph leaves the uh, lineup, comes to the sideline. Here comes Porter checking in. He'll get the play now. We, we broke the huddle, and we have a legal substitution. We have too many men on the field. Fraction on the offense. It's a five-yard penalty. And Ferris moves under center. Slot right, tight end on the left. That's the short side. It's a delay out of the backfield. Goes to Fleming, out to the 20. Lowers his head, goes to the 25-yard line. He's shy of a first down by two. Skates will take the snap back at his 10-yard line. Deep snapper is Chance Pierce. 118 snaps last year with two misdues. Right is off to the left side. Pierce running up, made it on the uh, run at the 40-yard line and goes out of bounds at the 50. Here they are at the line of scrimmage. First down and 10 at the Aggie 47. Under center, Nagel. And off will go to the lone setback. That's, I think that's going to be Trayan again. And he gets back to the 45-yard line. About two-yard pickup. Second down and eight. Again, a lone setback. Two wides on the left, one on the right. And they got a flanker on the short side. Straight drop throws. And we're going to get pass interference against Texas A&M. Minute 51 to go in the first. McNeese leads A&M 9-0. Under center, play action. Nagel drops back to the 50, going far sideline. Turns his man around. Ball is caught and then dropped. And we got a flag down at the 8-yard line. It looks like it'll be interference once again against the Aggies. Here's Randy Crystal. No, oh, it's going to be against McNeese. They break the huddle by sending two wides to this side of the formation. One of them's bought had the other Sam's. They got Martin at the top. Broadhead went in motion. Turned and came back to this side. It's a delay out of the backfield, and they got the line of scrimmage to the 43. Second down, and the scoreboard says they need about 24 at their own 44-yard line. They throw the ball, and it's knocked down by Texas A&M. A bat. Batted ball by Evan Perotti. Martin got up and walked off the field. A little assistance from the trainers. Here is third down and 24. And they have handed off, and it's going to go to Trey Han on a delay out of the backfield. He gets about four yards. He's across the 45, and he takes it out to about the 48-yard line. Yeah, one of the awards that was given before the game was to Bashir Ramsey as the distinguished alumnus. Bashir, one of the great track names that will go on in Texas A&M history. This has got to have been a thrill for you to be recognized here at Kyle Field. Uh, uh, most definitely. I got to meet a lot of the uh, other alumni that already graduated from A&M at the little banquet before. And of course, it felt good to be able to sit here in front of thousands of all the fans out here in front of Texas A&M to be able to be distinguished for my award, and I appreciate it all. Here's the putts, and Weston ran up and was going to make a catch but did the smart thing as the ball hit at the five and then it's killed at the two AM in total offense right now 70 yards 16 seconds to go in the first period the Ags trail McNeese nine nothing the running backs line up in the end zone and the handoff will goes that Weber Weber spins at the line of scrimmage across the five out to about the 11 yard line got nine on the carry that's Joe Weber All right, here's how the first quarter stats look. Uh, McNeese State has four first downs. The Aggies have three. Rushing yards for the Aggies, 43 for McNeese State, 34. Passing yards, 36 for A&M, 25 for McNeese State. Let's get this play. We'll finish these up. Out of an eye formation, they hand off to uh, Weber, and Weber will be close for a first down. That was run from the 11. The Ags need the 12. 14-54, the second quarter is just underway, and A&M has trailed from the very beginning. It's 9-0. Here's Ferris. He'll sneak for it, and I think he got it. 
Way out to the right side goes Goins. Here on the left side is Bethel Johnson. And the tight end on this side is Hightower, number 90. And a single setback, and that man gets it. And it's Oshler Fleming, and he goes to the 14-yard line. The young man who was dismissed from the A&M football team transferred to McNeese. LeBrandon Shepard was in on that last tackle. Now calls himself Lee Shepard at McNeese. Deep pitch coming back to this side of the field at the 15-yard line. Out close to the 20, not a first down. Out to the right side is Jamar Taylor, also Porter. And you got Goins, wide out on the left, running back to the left of Mark Ferris on third down and three at the Aggie 20. Ball is snapped. They were looking screen. I think right side, Ferris is under some pressure. He's going to throw the ball into the sideline. Offensive pass interference. That's the third one in the game tonight. Two against McNeese and now one against a &M. Skates will take the snap standing right on the six at that hash mark. A little low. Containment at the line. Good kick. It's coming to this sideline and apparently will go out of bounds somewhere between the 40 and the 50. Dave was talking in the pregame tonight about two of the most productive corners in the country, Texas A&M, Sean Weston and Sammy Davis. 25 pass breakups last year and five interceptions. First down and 10, McNeese at their own 37, and it's a delay out of the backfield to Lawton, the fullback across the 50. He goes to the 48-yard line. That's a pickup of about 15 yards. First down and 10 for McNeese. They lead 9-0, 12-27 to go here in the second period at Kyle Field. First and 10 at the Aggie 48. Under center, and it's play action. Throw it back this way, throw it incomplete into the sideline. Again, they were trying to go to Luke Lawton. Second down and 10. Clock stop, 12-16 on the incomplete. Single setback, slot right. And they put a slot man in motion. The end around again to Jermaine Martin. Turns the corner 50-45, spins at the 40, and down he goes at the Aggie 39-yard line. And McNeese is operating in Aggie territory again at the 39-yard line. Hash left, eye formation, slot right, split into the left side. And Lawton, the fullback, spins off the first people and then bounces back, and they catch him behind the line of scrimmage, and he'll get forward progress to the 41-yard line. Line of scrimmage, the 41. Waiting on the snap. Looks like they might just they got let, it, let it run out. Yeah, they got something wrong here. They're going to let it run out. They didn't want to use a timeout. I don't think they have enough men on the field. Let's see. They've got, there's five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I think they only have ten people on the field. That's what it was. And here comes the guy. They didn't want to use a timeout to send him out there. Line of scrimmage is now the 46 after the delay of game penalty against McNeese. Here's the snap. A good one about chest high. Angled it for the left sideline. Let's see if this gets into the end zone. And did it. It did. Yeah, three McNeese players kind of standing there looking at that thing. That punt was good for 46 yards. 11-36 in the first on the fumble return. And under center, dropping back, throwing the ball to the sideline and caught at the 23-yard line. I think that's Bethel Johnson. Or is it Dwayne Goins? Goins caught it for about a three-yard pickup. Out of a shotgun, running backs both sides of Ferris, the 23-yard line. They go with an inside handoff. Now it's an end around. Goins dropped the ball as he's handed off by... Keith Joseph. So third down and 14. Joseph to the right of Ferris. Weber to the left. Porter and Taylor on this side. I think that's Goins on the other side. Under some pressure. Throwing the ball. Intercepted by McNeese. And at the 10, at the 5, and a touchdown. Joe Judge just intercepted it. And was that ball partially deflected? And here comes the extra point attempt. It's on its way, and he made it. Bear puts it on the board. It's now 16 to nothing. We have 9.27 to go until halftime, and the Aggies trailing McNeese by a score of 16 to nothing. A couple of turnovers result in instant points for McNeese. They've got a field goal with the two turnovers. Here's the kickoff. It's short, and it's Johnson at the 10, 20, 30 out to about the 35 yard line. Something good happens for the Aggies on the kickoff return by Bethel Johnson from the 10 out to the 35, about 25 yard return and a flag down probably off sides on the kickoff. And I believe it's gonna go against McNeese. Offside on the kicking team. It'll be a five yard penalty. Gotta do it again. Re-kick. Yep. 
Here's the kick back from the 10 to the 20 to the 25. That's Sammy Davis coming back to this side of the field at the 30. Reverses his field. Now he goes down at the 32. So all is said and done, lose three yards. Went from the 35 back to the 32 on the second kickoff after the five-yard offsides against McNeese on the first kickoff. Here is Mark Ferris running back to his left. Slot left, slot right, short sides to the left side. Takes the snap at the 27-yard line. Out into the flats, it goes to Joseph and uh, tried to slip a tackle. And Joe Judge just took him out of bounds. Joe Weber is the fullback. Ags have two tights. Ferris has the snap, and here goes Whitaker. He's at the 30. He's hit head up at the 30-yard line. They're driving him back. He got a yard. Ferris has a running back to his left. He has two wides on the open side and two here on the short side. Running back is to the short side of the uh, formation. Drops back, throws it over the middle. Caught by Goins, splits between two men, spins, and tries to stretch out for the first down. He didn't get it. Come out in what's going to look like a straight T formation, like the old T. And they jumped offside. Boy, did they. <laughs> wow. <laughs> About three of them. <laughs> Offsides. Yeah. Defense. Yeah. <laughs> Five-yard penalty. The game's sufficient for a first down. First down and 10 at their own 46. Equal distance between the hash marks. Single set back. Two tights and two wideouts. Both lined up in the backfield. Straight drop pumps. Now he's going sideline. Coming here to Bethel Johnson. Way out of bounds. Here's second down. Dwayne Goins went the wrong way. Now they're setting him up on the right side as a slot man. And they're sending Porter in that direction. He'll stop for a moment, then he continued in that direction, draw out of the backfield. It went to Whitaker, and he got to the line of scrimmage, and they wrapped him up. The two wideouts, two men lined up on the backfields. And what there? a whole bunch of activity here as the ball was snapped. And one, two, three flags are down. McNeese came charging across the line of scrimmage. At 7 o'clock. On the offense. Oh, man. It's five yard against the Aggies. An illegal down. snap against AM. Just ran a man off the field as the Aggies come back to the line of scrimmage. Now facing third down and 14 after the five yard penalty. Ball's been moved back to the Aggie 42. Favors hash left. Nobody in the backfield. Throw it out here in the flats. Caught and then dropped off the shoulder pads of the freshman Terrence Murphy. Well, it is 16 to nothing. You have 5.59 remaining until halftime, and unless there's some really strange things happen, the Eggs definitely are not going to have a halftime lead. This is a good punt. Line of scrimmage was the 42. It's going to hit at the uh, two-yard line and then bounce right into the end zone. Now the third down conversions, they're 0 of 4. We are now 1 out of 9 on third downs. It's a draw out of the backfield, goes to Pierce. He hits the 20, goes to the 21-yard line. And the Eggs now... I think they put an extra defensive back in the lineup. And here is Brooks coming, and here is a pass thrown incomplete at the 25-yard line. Third down and eight, 22-yard line. Shotgun with three wides on the left. There's the snap. Drops back to the 12. Looking to his left. He's throwing high and way into the sideline. Here's Latta. Takes the snap back at the seven. Ags were coming, and it's not that good a kick. It's going to get a McNeese roll, however, as it hits at the Cowboy 45, rolls across the 50, and they'll kill the ball. Will the Cowboys at the 45-yard line, Aggie side of the 50. That one went only 33 yards. Here are the Aggies now back on offense. Keith Joseph is a running back. They'll come out and show a shotgun formation. Joe Weber is the other running back. He's on the left side of Mark Ferris. Hash mark to the right side. Drops back, sets up, throws. It's caught. Johnson tries to juke a man. He's going to catch it for nine yards. Jamar Taylor comes here on the left side of the formation. That's it's one of the, I mean, that's Bethel Johnson. I think he's over on the right. I think that's a nine, not a five out of a shotgun. Here is Ferris dropping back. Movement. And the officials are going to stop the play. 14 Ball yards. On the offense. It'll be a five-yard penalty and remain just got second down. Shotgun again for AM. Second down and six. 353 to go until halftime. AM trails 16 to nothing. Ferris winds up. He's throwing deep. Looking down for Bethel Johnson. He caught it. Took it away from the defender, and the spot will be at the 13-yard line. Murphy stays in the lineup and goes to the right side. Taylor here on the left side, shotgun, running backs both sides of Ferris, tight end left. 
Inside, no, it's fake. Throw it back to Weber at the 10. Hit, drop the ball, it's on the turf. Somebody, let's see who got it. And A&M, Ferris says A&M got it. Under three to go in the first half. 2.52 on the clock, 16 to nothing. McNeese leading Texas A&M. The Aggies with the ball at the Cowboy 12. Ash Wright. Murphy wide to the right side. Taylor on the left side. You got two tight ends. Delatore and Hightower. Single setback. Joseph under center. Ferris has the snap. Short drop. Lofting it. Going end zone. And there should be defensive pass interference. There is. The ball was intended for Jamar Taylor. And he was run over there as the defender was simply playing Taylor and not the ball. Pass interference on the defense. The ball will be placed on the two-yard line. Automatic. First down. And that straight T formation with two tight ends. Hightower is the tight end on the left side. Della Torre on the right side. Break the T. Put Joseph in motion. The handoff goes to Weber. Hits the one. Dropped at the one yard line. Again, that straight T. Joseph breaks it. Going in motion to the right side. The handoff goes to Weber. He's got a man on him, but he gets in for a touchdown. The first of the year for AM. Let's see if that gets us going in the right direction. He had three touchdowns last year. He gets his first here tonight at the 152 mark of the second quarter. That makes it a 16 to six ball game. And Weber was the man that got, got it into uh, touchdown territory as Skates gets ready to try his first extra point. Bodovich spots it down. The kick's on the way and it's good. That makes it 16 to seven with 152 until halftime. McNeese over A&M. Saluting Texas A&M on its 125th anniversary. This is Texas Aggie football. Texas A&M's made it a 16 to 7 game. McNeese with 152 to go into halftime. The Aggies are ready to kick it off. Their deep men are at the five. That's Jermaine Martin at the five yard line, 10. Out to the 20 and spilled at the 24 yard line. Inside linebackers are Ron Simon and Gamble. The handoff goes to Pierce in the backfield. Stanford around line of scrimmage 24. Started inside to his right and took it out to the left and they went nowhere. The second down of that this same nine on the scoreboard looks about the same 10. High on the snap. Inside handoff Pierce. And they bottle him up as he gets maybe two to the 26 yard line. Timeout AM. This third down and eight at 102 at the half time. On the shotgun. Drop back to the 16. Four. Dying duck, and they will make the reception. It goes to Vaughn ahead. His dad, Doug, a track star at AM, got enough for a first down. Goes to the 31. The Aggies will call their final timeout. 54 seconds to go. Sean Weston has been the return man the, throughout the night. I think that's him back there right now. Line of scrimmage is the 31. Weston standing at the Aggie 26. That was a low snap. The Ags were coming, and uh, they say that there was no interference. Here is Weston fumbling the ball. Get out of bounds, and he does. He picked it up about the 37 right off the grass around his shoe tops. Skates has been doing well, by the way, on his field goals in practice. Out of a shotgun. Here's Ferris with the snap. Drops back to the 36. Throws sideline. Out of bounds immediately on the reception. Made by Goins at the Nice 49-yard line. Here goes Murphy, who has a great reception in this ball game. Way out to the right side, and the slot in that direction is Porter. Got a slot on the short side, running back to the left, out of a shotgun. They're bringing everybody, and uh, Oshler Fleming picked up the blitz man. Here is Ferris. Ferris forced out of the pocket. He is tackled. Now 32 seconds. He hurry up. Back at the 48-yard line. Get up. 28 seconds, 27 seconds. It's going to be a third down play coming up. He got 23 seconds, 20 seconds. He went under center. He drops back. Again, he's going to throw a side armor. He goes to uh, Murphy, and Murphy will be dropped. Ferris sets up in the shotgun. Trips on here on the left side. Two in the slot. Wide out right. Running back to the right of Ferris. He'll take the snap at midfield. Has it. Drops back. Steps up. Under some pressure. Now he's looking. He's going to the sideline and out of bounds. With one second remaining, the ball was caught. It was Goins at the 26. <laughs> It'll be spotted at the 34. It's a 44-yard effort by Skates. Angle back to the right. Bonovich the holder. There's the snap. It's down. The kick is on its way. Has a chance. Is it? It's good. How about Cody Skates, his first effort? Time is run out. That's halftime. And the Aggies get a field goal to cut the lead down to six at halftime. They scored at 152. 
and they score at the one second mark here in the second period. On a skates field goal, making it a 16 to 10 halftime lead for McNeese. All right, and Skates will have what wind there is at his back, and it's picked up a little bit as the evening has moved along. It's out of the south, and it will be at his back here in the uh, third quarter. We trail 16 to 10 to McNeese. Their return men are standing back at about the uh, two. This one's a sidewinder that will go into the end zone. He kicked it into the end zone with that wind is back, and they've not turned the ball over tonight. The Ags just jumped. That was Ty Warren anticipating the snap. Offside on the defense, give me a five-yard penalty and remain first down. Man in motion, they run from an eye. Play action, drops back to his 17, throws back to the left. It is caught and he's going to turn it into a first down. Initial contact was made at the 35 by AM. And uh, Sammy Davis made a hit over there. And then the tackle is finally made by Brian Gamble out at the 44. First down and 10 for McNeese now at their 44. Just got a first down on their first play. They fake the end around. They go to Pierce on the pitch going back the opposite way. He hits midfield, an open field tackle there by Texas A&M, and that tackle is by John T. Buell. They ran first and five and got a first down. They ran first and 10 and picked up seven. Straight drop, throw it over the middle. Wide open will be the tight end, Jeff Hamilton, and he takes it across the 40, down to the Aggie 38, nobody close to him. First down and 10, 13.45 to go in the third. Play action under pressure, throwing far sidelines. Got a man turned the wrong way. Did he catch that ball? He did. It's Martin at the 12. They started at their 20, and they moved it to the 12. First and 10. I formation. Two men to the right. Hand off to Lawton. Up the middle. Carries two Aggies with him to the 5. Here's second down and 3 at the Aggie 5. 12.45 to go in the third. I formation. Here is Nagel, the handoff, the fullback, Lawton caught behind the line this time. Dropped back inside the five at about the six and a half. Brian Gamble and Ty Warren combined on that tackle. It's a third down now and four. Ball back at about the seven. Play action, throwing into the end zone. It's the tight end again all by himself. Just made the catch, Jeff Hamilton. They're going to get a timeout called here by McNeese before the extra point. It's 22 to 10. McNeese leads AM with 12.04 to go in the third. They're going for two on the extra point. Three wides on the right. It's a shotgun running back to his left. It's the inside pitch to Luke Lawton on the shovel pass, and he carries it in for two. Everything worked to start the second half for McNeese. That makes it 24 to 10. They've got a two touchdown lead on the Aggies with 12.04 to go in the third quarter. They have scored 24 points and they lead 24 to 10. Well, the opening kickoff, they took it at the 20, then there was a five yard penalty. So there was a 75 yard drive in seven plays. 26 yards comes on a, a great catch by Jermaine Martin down to the 12 yard line. The touchdown comes on a six yard pass to Jeff Hamilton, and then a two point conversion gives the uh, McNeese State Cowboys the lead 24 to 10. Davis on the kickoff return from his four out to the 20, jumps at about the 20, broke free, goes to the 23 yard line. And one of them, Seth McKinney, is out of the game, and Jeff Hentgardner, the 287 pound freshman redshirt, 6'5, takes over at that key position, working with Mark Ferris, and he had trouble handling the first snap. Mark's going to throw the ball incomplete. Second down and 10 for the Aggies. Ferris. Sets the play up in a shotgun. Running backs on both sides of the Aggie quarterback. Split out here a little bit on the left side. They fake the blitz, then they drop back. Ferris goes to the 15, throws sideline, threw it way over the head of the intended receiver, Terrence Murphy, at about the point needed for the first down. That one just sailed on him. A&M now two out of 10 on third down conversions. This is their 11th third down, tonight, third down conversion attempt, 44% last year. Two out of 10 tonight. Here's the snap, drops back to the 15, under some pressure, throwing to this sideline. Todd Porter crossed the 40 at the 41, took a shot. Man that hit him was Keith Smith. Slide right, it is a first and 10, 11.40 to go on the third. The Aggies trail 24 to 10, eye formation behind Ferris. Quick drop, 
throws. Taylor broke a tackle, 50, 40, 35, got a block, tries to run over a man. He's going to be tackled inside the 25 of the 23. That's Jamar Taylor. Here are the Aggies trailing 24, 10, 11, 24 to go in the third. The, 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 the McNeese 23, hash right, maybe an audible. Two wides on the uh, right side, two on the left. Throw it out in the flats, going to be caught inside the 20. Now across the 20 to about the 17-yard line. Well, the two tees are out there now, Terrence Thomas and Terrence Murphy. Two freshman receivers out of a shotgun. The inside handoff goes to Keith Joseph, and he almost broke one, but he lost his balance, and he was trying to regain it at the 14, and he goes down at the 14-yard line. That's great T formation, and again, you break it with the uh, right halfback going in motion. The handoff went to Joseph, spring it out right side, cuts it back to his left, first down, caught and dropped at the 10. With Thomas in the slot to the right, the wide out is Jamar Taylor. Porter's in the slot to the left. And Murphy is the wide out on the left side. Running back to the right of Ferris out of the shotgun. The inside handoff. No, it was the keeper. Was that Ferris? Ferris, touchdown, flag down on the field. Flag down. Let's see what they are going to call. Is it against AM? Is it against McNeese? Offsides. McNeese, touchdown, Texas AM. I got to tell you, he fooled me. Oh, man, I thought he I handed it tell. off. I thought he handed it off. <laughs> And he took it into the end zone, naked boot after the fake handoff. Great play, great fake by Mark Ferris. Touchdown Aggies. I think Ferris, his teammates, and the coaching staff are the only people who knew that he had the football. I believe 72,000 fans were watching that inside handoff. Here's Skates with the extra point, 9.27 to go in the third. The extra point is up, and it's good, and the Aggies have made it a 24 to 17 McNeese lead 927 to go in the third period great execution on this drive Dave it was uh, 77 yards in eight plays they got a third and ten completion of 17 yards to Porter to keep the drive alive they followed that up with a 38 yard completion to Jamar Taylor and then the naked boot by uh, Mark Ferris from 10 yards out for the touchdown makes it 24 to 17. We've got 9.27 left in the third quarter. Here's Skates and his kickoff. Again, a little wind at his back. This one's going to be taken at the goal line. He'll have a return back out to the 10. Smothered at about the 13. Flag down. Illegal block in the back on the receiving team during the return. Half the distance to the goal. First down. Bracken crew being encouraged by the 72,000 plus, about 6,000 of them, McNeese play action. Nagel throwing out of his own end zone. Ball is caught across the 15 at about the 17 and a half yard line, and it's that guy again, Jermaine Martin, got about a half yard more than he needed for the first down. Move the sticks. Well, we quiet most crowds, but not the 12th man. They're back up, and it's a draw out of the backfield. And Gamble meets. Trahan head up at the line of scrimmage. Shotgun for Slade Nagel. Ags are coming from the outside. It's a running play, a draw to the backfield. A Trahan slipped a man, slipped another. They've caught him and they've wrapped him up at the 23. A gain of about four. It's going to be third down. Going to call it about five. They need to the McNeese 28 do the Cowboys. And it's uh, about four and a half yards. Robertson has checked in. Along with another teammate throwing the ball. It's incomplete across the middle. That was Jermaine Martin. He didn't hang on. It went right through his hands. Big break for the Aggies. That guy normally is going to catch that ball. 7.33 to go in the third. The Aggies trail 24 to 17. Sean Weston is standing at the AM 35. Timeout will be called by McNeese. Upon retain, uh, return team checking in for AM. And that's Dewan Gentry back for the Aggies as the punt return man standing at AM's 41 yard line. Line of scrimmage is the 24 on fourth down and four. Maybe the Ags feeling something's going to happen here. They got the block on. They are coming up the middle. There's kind of containment, not a very good kick. It's coming off to this side and will hit at about the AM 40 and now roll down near the Aggie 30 and a half yard line and will be killed there. Check down here at that center position to see if Seth McKinney has returned. No, he hasn't. Nope, and Gardner's still out there. Under center, 721 on the clock at their own 31. Ferris takes it, rolls to his right. Got a good block. He just threw that in the turf and behind the intended receiver. Comes here to this side along with Goins, Porter, 
And Bethel Johnson to the other side, sets up in a shotgun. Ferris has a running back, Keith Joseph to his left. Has the snap, inside handoff, goes to Keith Joseph. Hogtied and wrestled to the ground. As he hits the 31, he goes to the 32. Here's the third down and nine. Clock 6.42 and running. Aggies trail 24-17, third quarter action. As the snap, drops back to his 25. Is lofting one sideline. Porter leaped was too high, he almost had it off his fingertips, incomplete. Skates has gone 55, 38, 35, 43, and 55. Good snap. Line of scrimmage was the 32 and a half. The kick is coming to this side of the field, and will take a McNeese bounce, and will be killed by the deep snapper, Chance Pearson. It'll be killed at the 26. Here's the first down play from their own 28. Broadhead goes in motion right to left, and he Looked like he uh, jumped off sides, and the handoff comes out of the backfield, goes to the 30. Broadhead was actually moving forward. Right, that should be a, a motion penalty. Might have gotten stopped. No flags, and a pickup of about, oh, two yards out to the 30. Uh, Gerard Penwright, Sammy Davis, Terrence Keel, Ramon Simon is an inside linebacker, along with Gamble. Here's the play. Play action, drops back, throws, incomplete. In and out of the hands of the intended receiver, fullback Andrew Robin. Here's the third down play. It's going to be run from a shotgun. Waiting on the snap. Little high. Drops back to his 21. Under some pressure. Throws. Intercepted. Sammy Davis has got a chance. Let's see if he can beat a man. Going to be caught by Broadhead from the backside as he carries him out of bounds at the 16-yard line. Sammy Davis, the INT. Ash Wright, I formation. Ferris lofting, going end zone. And leaping and bringing it down. Is it a touchdown or not? It was. He brought it down. That's the freshman. It's Terrence Murphy. Got behind his man, leaped up in the air, held on, came down in the end zone, and then fell out of the side of the end zone. What an incredible catch. Great concentration. Was able to come down with the ball, but not only come down with the ball, but keep his feet in bounds. He was right on the end line. And he was able to get the foot down, then hold on. That's the reason the official didn't call the timeout quickly because he wanted to make sure he held on to the ball. Great catch for the touchdown by Terrence Murphy. Well, they said that Murphy and Thomas had turned heads many times, numerous times during the August workouts. Dave, that's his fourth catch of the night for 79 yards. <laughs> How about that? Here's the extra point by Skates. Nails it. Game is tied. 24 all, 527 to go in the third. Interception by Sammy Davis. First play, a pass down to Terrence Murphy. Aggie score. Slade Nagel threw 18 interceptions last year. Thrown one here tonight. Here's the kickoff. Looks like Jermaine Martin will have a chance from the one to the 10. He's out to the 15, coming sideline at the 20, and they'll run him into the sideline. They go out of bounds in a pile at the 28-yard line. Nice return. Yeah, so a flag back yep. between the 40 and 35, so offsides against Texas A&M, and they'll re-kick that one. Give you a chance to recap that last drive, which was a dandy one point. Over 15, the penalty declined. Well, they declined the penalty. Adam Black stays in the lineup here on this left side at that cornerback spot. And it's going to be a handoff, goes in the backfield. How about Rocky Bernard behind the line inside the 25 at the 24. He just knocked Aaron Pierce to the ground. And Rocky Bernard just got swampy with McNeese. Big Marcus Jasmine stays in that defensive front along with Bernard. It's second down and 14. They lost four. Ball back at the 24. Inside handoff goes to Pierce. He gets it across the 25, and they rolled about the 27-28 yard line. And here they go on third down and 10. Bags have four down linemen. Snap from center out of the shotgun. Had trouble trying to handle it, and this one's going to sail into the end zone. It was uncatchable. There was a collision between receiver and defender. The receiver brought ahead, and the defender, Sammy Davis, it's incomplete. Here's David Latta. He's kicked the ball well. His last kick was good for 45. That one rolled back to him. There's a flag down. They moved, Dave. Did they? There was movement in the offensive line. This will be a five-yard penalty. Now it's fourth down and 15. 351 showing on the clock. Game tied at 24. And Dewan Gentry will move up to the Aggie 45-yard line. Line of scrimmage now is the 22. Here's the snap. Containment at the line. Wobbly kick coming this way. 
And there's going to be a halo for rule here called as he caught the ball at about the 34-yard line and then somehow kind of turns and twists and he gets it out across the 40 to the 43. It's normally a five-yard penalty. The gain was more than that. First down. All right, so the Aggies will take the return by Dewan Gentry. And Ferris is under center slot right. Has the ball. He's rolling to his right. Has a man chasing him. Still rolling, still looking. Now he throws, and he's going to throw it into the sideline. Did somebody bump him out of bounds? Offset eye in the backfield again. We'll call that a light eye as it's offset toward the uh, wide out of the slot side. Here's a delay out of the backfield. Goes to Joseph midfield. 45, runs over a man, and he's inside the 40 to about the 40. Might make it the 36-yard line. Taylor and Goins go to the right side. Got Porter in a slot here on the left side. And the man to his left. Yeah, I think it's uh, Bethel, and here's the catch made over the middle by Porter, and Porter at the 30 with a man on his leg. Stretches out that big old six-foot-five frame and will end up at about the 27 post for a first down. High formation with a slot right, tight end left, short sides to the left. And the handoff will go to Weber, kind of tiptoes as he hits the line of scrimmage, and I think he got the first down. It'll be close, but he's got a first down just across the 26 near the 25-yard line. Shotgun again, and he got slots on both sides of the formation. Somebody may have been off sides. I think the Aggies may have flinched. <laughs> Here's first down now in 15. Two minutes to go in the third. The Aggies and McNeese tied at 24. Shotgun Ferris running back to his left. That slots on both sides of the ball. Time to throw. Lofts one. He's going to Porter. Porter, and he had it and dropped it. Ferris will move under center. They'll come out, and they will show a, it's a heavy eye. Here's Ferris on a draw. Goes to Joseph. Not Oshler Fleming. And Oshler, who's done a good job in the August workouts, got about uh, four or five. Got the penalty back, and he's going to be near the 25-yard line. Out of a shotgun, facing third down and 11. At the 26 of McNeese. Wide out left, two on the right side. Has the snap. Pick up a blitz. Throw it over the middle, bat it up in the air, and knock down incomplete. All right, so a 43-yard effort. It favors the hash mark to the left side. Little bit of an angle back to his right. Has one earlier tonight. Botovich will hold. It's been, uh, was that blocked? It was not. Where did it go? It was no good. And now back on offense will go the McNeese State Cowboys. Slade Nagel throwing the ball now has gone to the air a total of 20 times, nine completions and one interception, and he's thrown it for 104 yards. And they have changed quarterbacks, and they'll have a handoff, and they'll pick up about three as they try the left side to Marcus Trahan, and I think they brought Michael Allen in. That is Allen, number 16, has come into the ball game for McNeese and their head coach, Tommy Tate. Waits on the snap. Has it, play action, drops back, throwing deep, going sideline. They have a defender there, and it's been intercepted. Texas A&M at about the 32-yard line. Sammy Davis again, and he goes out of bounds as soon as he intercepted the ball. So here we go with the running backs in an eye formation. Weber, the lead man, and Whitaker is behind him. And it's not an eye, but it's offset here to the left side. Two wideouts, deep pitch. Whitaker coming back this way, stringing it out, stringing it out. And now caught from the uh, backside and dropped at the line of scrimmage. Well, here are your third quarter stats brought to you by Dodge. Visit your friendly Dodge dealer today, Dave. First downs, A&M with 16, McNeese State with 10. Rush yards, 70 for the Aggies, 82 for McNeese State. 214 yards passing for Mark Ferris, 19 out of 33 and one interception. Of course, that for a touchdown. 104 yards passing, total offense, 284 for the Aggies, 186 for McNeese State. Second down and 10 are going to throw a halfback pass. Hoshler Fleming throwing the ball, and it is in and out of the hands of Jamar Taylor at the 40. McNeese territory, one, two, three flags on the turf. Pass interference against McNeese. First down and 10. The ball's been moved out to the Aggie 47 on the defensive pass interference call. At the 47, the inside handoff, and that was a not a not a good handoff. The execution on that one, Ferris and Whitaker had a tough time, and McNeese had plenty of time to be right there on top of it, and they drop him back at the 45-yard line. That's a two-yard loss. It's second down and 12. Shotgun running backs, left and right of Ferris. Seth McKinney back out over the ball as the center. 
Running backs leave the backfield. Now they'll throw over the middle. Wide open. And was that uh, Joe Weber? And it was Weber. And he's going to be close for the first down. But he's about two yards shy. They get across the 50. They go to the, mini, uh, the McNeese 46-yard line. Ferris waits on the snap. And they're bringing the house. But the Aggies picked it up. Now Ferris sidesteps one man. And he's going to throw a little shovel pass at the 40 out of the backfield. Is that uh, Keith Joseph again? It is. He's across the uh, 35 to the 33. First down. At the 33, hash right under center. Here's a deep pitch coming back to this side of the field. And is that Fleming? Fleming back in the ball game, hit behind the line, but somehow able to fall forward. Got a yard out of that for a 32 second down and nine coming up. And now time is called. Here's second down and nine at the McNeese 33. For a shotgun, Ferris looks things over. As slots on both sides of the ball. Has the snap, looking to his right, throws. It's Porter on the sideline, and out of bounds they go. He got a first down. He's out at the 22-yard line. Ferris again, a shotgun, running back to his right is Joseph. Double slot formation. McKinney snaps it, throws again to the sideline. It's Porter once more, trying to twist away from a man. There's going to be a late hit. It is. And he was wrapped up on the sideline by Joe Judds, and then a late hit by Jaworski White. Well, here we go. The ball's been moved inside the 10 to the 8. First and goal at the 8. Hand off is Whitaker. Now it's a keeper. Ferris again after a fake to Whitaker, and he steps into the end zone untouched. Touchdown. It's Mark Ferris. Hey, this is great. It, it was a double fake. He faked the uh, handoff. Then he faked like he was going to go outside, then cut it back underneath, faked out the only man that was responsible for the, the, uh, the boot and took it right on in untouched. Nice move by Mark Ferris. It gives the Ags their first lead of the night at the 12-21 mark of the fourth quarter. Take the lead now <laughs> for the first time tonight. You heard him exactly right, fans. Here's Bonovich to hold and skates to kick. Chance Pierce snapped it and the kick's on its way and it's good. A&M now leads by a touchdown, 31 to 24. We were down here tonight, 24 to 10. And it's 16 come back, to nothing, too. Well, 16 to nothing, but down by 24 to 10, but 12.04 in the third, and have come back here to score 21 unanswered points. And the touchdown comes on a nine yard boot by Mark Ferris. Aggies lead it 31 24. Here's the kickoff. It's going to be a little bit short. And from the six, they'll get a return out to the 15. That's B.J. Sands out to the 25 to the 26 27 yard line. He was determined on that one. Slade Nagel back in at quarterback. Heard a moment ago that Tom said that that was just a coaching decision to put Michael Allen in. High formation behind Nagel. Straight drop. Time. Throwing out in the flats. Got him isolated on a man. Will he get away? He did not. There goes Broadhead to the right side. Jermaine Martin here on the left side. An eye formation. Play action. Nagel under pressure. Throws high. Trying to hit the tight end. Hamilton. It's third down and 10. 11.32 remaining. The clock stopped on the incomplete. Shotgun for Nagel. Has a high snap. Drops back. All the way back to his 15. Now skips one into the turf. Were they trying to set up a screen? Yes, they were, they Dave. There are more Aggies in the screen than there were McNeese Cowboys. Aggie. David Latta's back on. He's gone 50, 42, 46, 33. Had one of 32, 45, and his last was 44. They take the snap back at his 14-yard line. Line of scrimmage is the 28. And I think that is Dewan Gentry back again. Some outside pressure. The kick's away. It's going to hit at the Aggie 40, and the Ags are going to clear away, and Trahan will kill it at the 27-yard line. Ags have the ball. They have it first down and 10 at their own 27-yard line after the punt was killed. But a nice effort by David Latta. It's Ferris under center, and he will hand off to Joseph. It's the initial remaining in the game, 31-24 A&M. And it's a delay out of the backfield. And it's Keith Joseph across the 30. It goes to about the 32, 33 yard line. Picked up about six with the shy of a first down by five. Have to get it to the Aggie 37 for a first down. Third down and four showing on the scoreboard. The line of scrimmage is the 32 and a half. Ags need the 37. Shotgun for Ferris. Has the good snap. Drops back to his 25. Pumps. Throws into the sideline the McNeese bench. Uh, we visited with Tim Millis earlier this summer up in Dallas, the head of the officials, and, and they work hard. Uh, you know, work real hard. Here's the snap. Skates punt is away. It's going off to the right side. They're clearing everybody out. It hits at the 30-yard line and went out of bounds immediately. It hit at the 33-yard line. where they're going to mark that one out. All right, 31-24, the Aggies lead McNeese. 
McNeese has the ball, first down and 10 at their own 33. 9.38 to go in the game. Hand off, right side, it's off to the races, midfield, 50, out of bounds they go. Stepped out back at the 46 yard line. Shotgun for Nagel, first down and 10. Ags lead 31-24, little shovel pass off here in the flats and the Aggies have read it and they're gonna drag him down back behind the line. That was Pierce again and it was Jay Brooks, big play Brooks that on that play. Second down and 12, shotgun. Trying to put a man in motion. Now they do on a pirouette. From the shotgun, snap it, flag is down, throw the ball, caught by B.J. Sams across the 40 to the 37 yard line with a flag. Something happened as the ball was snapped and a flag flies. I think they had two people in motion, Dave. Illegal uh, shift. It's second down and 17, McNeese. They've got to get the ball to the Aggie 35. Shotgun for Slade Nagel. Takes the snap, drops back, throws over the middle, and it's caught at the 40, and now across the 35 to the 30-yard line. He got 23, 22 yards on that one. Under center, Nagel. They go in motion with Trahan. Rolls to his right, throwing the ball, going end zone, and it is intercepted at the goal line, but Flag I think down. the Aggies have pushed off. The officials have gathered. They are talking. Defensive pass interference against Texas A&M. They got Martin here on the left side. High formation. And the handoff goes to the fullback, Luke Lawton, and he is dropped behind the line. They're going to give him forward progress to the 16. Second down and 11 at the Aggie 16. Hash right, I formation. Nagel under center. Drop the snap from center, falls on it back at the 20. Third down and 15. They're at the line of scrimmage. They put a man in motion. Slot to the left. They're going to flood it on the left side. It's play action. They're going to throw back to the other side of the field. It's been caught behind the line, dancing around, trying to get in for a touch. Where did he go out of bounds? Uh, he was fighting across the 10, and I thought he was going to sit there for a minute. It looks like they're going to mark it back about the 11-yard line. At the Dave. 11. Clock stops at 6.22 remaining in the game. A. Bear has a 45-yarder. This one will be spotted at the 18. Aggies may have jumped off sides, oh, or were no. they drawn off sides? Yeah, we'll see. Prior to the snap, false start on the offense. Yes. Five-yard penalty remains four foul. So fourth down now and 11 at the 16. A. Bear stays out there. will be spotted at the 23. It's a 33-yard effort. Had the snap. Didn't handle it. Been smothered. It is recovered, I believe, by AM back around the 25, 26-yard line. Maybe the 23. It may have been that the holder had the ball. Looked like one of the Aggies came up with it. Timeout. AM. That's interesting. Here we go with Ferris at the line of scrimmage on first down and 10 from the 24 there into the field. Under center, and it's a delay out of the backfield. Big hole, that's Fleming. He's going to go to midfield, caught from the backside as he crosses the 45, goes to the McNeese 41-yard line, 35 on the carry by Oshler Fleming. At the 41, a hash mark to the left side. High formation as Ferris moves under center. Two tights. One of them is Jamie Hightower wearing 90 again. Deep pitch goes to Fleming looking for the left side. They're going to throw him out of bounds at the line of scrimmage. It's a shotgun. McKinney out over the ball. Tight in. De La Garza on the right side. Fake the inside handoff. Going to try and throw a little screen, and he overthrew his man at the 40. Trying to get that one to Joe Weber. Here we go. Third down and 10. The 31. McNeese 31 is the magic mark on this play for Texas A&M. Ferris in a shotgun. Two slots. Out in the flats he goes. Fleming at the 40. Out of bounds as he dives toward the 35-yard line, but stepped out back at the 37-yard line. They're going to take a delay of game here, Byron I, I Jones believe. Byron Jones has checked out there. It's on the Two, one, zero. Down on the play clock. They'll take a delay of game penalty. Back it up and try to get uh, Skates to kick this one out of bounds inside the 20. Right, we got to turn the sheet over here. Aaron Pierce, uh, 10 carries, 44 yards, Dave. 
Just kick the uh, football, and here is Byron Jones waiting for it, and he make a fair catch at the five-yard line. That's the Aggies player, Byron Jones. That's perfect. Nice 30 kick. 37-yard punt for effect. Cody Skates, a towering shot, and it came down at the five-yard line where the Aggies were waiting for it, and it'll put uh, McNeese State at their own seven. First down of 10 for McNeese, 518 to go in the game. It's 31 to 24. Single setback. Nagel under center. The Aggies might be coming. They're going to hand off. It goes in the backfields. Lone setback out to about the eight. That's probably going to be Pierce again. Trahan is the tailback. Luke Lawton is the fullback. There's a quick snap. There's a quick throw. Intercepted. Christian Rodriguez at the eight. Touchdown. At the eight-yard line, Christian Rodriguez reached up. Third interception of the night. The Aggies now, for the first time since the 99 season, will score a defensive touchdown. Christian Rodriguez with a great read here. Nagel trying to hit Martin on the quick slant. Rodriguez at that left outside linebacker read this perfectly, got in the throwing lane, caught it in his hands, eight-yard line just waltzed into the end zone. The Aggies can finally breathe a sigh of relief. They've got a 13-point uh, lead with the extra point to come with about uh, well less than five minutes left in this ball game. So we get one of those defensive touchdowns, two of them by McNeese tonight. We get one of them back. Here's the extra point by Cody Skates, and he's good again on that one. So it just made it a 38 to 24. Aggie lead, and we've got 442 remaining in the game. Aggies 373 yards in total offense, 234 for McNeese. B.J. Sams at the goal line on the kickoff. Here comes his return. He will get out across the 20 to about the 23-yard line. It's first down and 10. McNeese at their 22. The Aggies lead 38-24. Nice hole out over the middle. And that one off uh, for the first time tonight. Vic King, a reserve tailback, carries out close to a first down. Second down and a yard. Luke Lawton, the fullback, got the handoff. And I don't know if he got it or not. The Aggies converged on him in a hurry. Down to 342 on the clock. Slade Nagel throwing three interceptions today. Here's a throw over the middle. He had to get rid of that in a hurry. He was looking for his tight end, Jason Taylor, over the middle. He had some po uh, folks bearing down on him, and he just let rip. And hoping that uh, Taylor would turn around, but he never did. Incomplete second down and 10. Clock stops 3.37 to go in the game. He was sacked three times. Well, I'll say all of their quarterbacks they had three sacks against their quarterbacks last year. Here's a deep pitch going back to Vic. Caught for a moment. Slips it. He's coming back to the wide side of the field. Cuts it back. And across the 35, most of the yardage was made behind the line of scrimmage, going first to the east and coming back to the west, and finally out to about the 37-yard line. After all said and done, maybe six. So call it third down and four. Here's the third down and four. High snap, flags. I stop think they the moved, play. Dave. I think it's going to be a false start again. They flinched. Two minutes and 43 seconds remaining in the game. The Aggies lead 38 to 24. It's third down and 10 and inside a handoff on the ground. They'll go to Vic again. Vic looking for a hole. Cuts it back to his left. Goes across the 35 to the 37 and he's dropped down there. Next Thursday night, Wyoming will be, opponent, be, be the opponent and they won their ball game the, today 20 to 14 over Furman. Furman had the early lead. They're going to punt the ball away on fourth down and here's the kick. Good kick. Juan Gentry. He is going to watch this one uh, die at the 25-yard line. There must have been a little collision back here in the back. As, uh, I don't know if they had it or not, but there's a flag down back at the 27-yard line. It's roughing the kicker, Jay Brooks. A 38-yard kick. And Jay Brooks yeah, will be caught for roughing the kicker. Going to spot it right Running there. into the kicker. Yeah, that's what it was. This is a five-yard penalty. Fourth down. All right. Fourth down and inches. No punt. They'll go for it. And it's going to be a pitch going to the other side of the field. And they got the first down. They went to Pierce on a pitch back to the right side. I got to tell you, Dave, this McNeese State team is going to win a lot of football games. No wonder they're picked to win their conference. They've got yeah, a they, lot of ability. They went eight and four last year. They lost that first one. And I think they reeled off like five wins in a row. Here's a first and ten on play action. Nagel. Kind of double clutched right there, and then he tried to throw out a hand here to Ostele, Darren Ostele. Here is a second down and 10, 120 remaining. 
Vic, a running back, moves to the right of Michael Allen. Has a high snap. And a look to Vic on a screen. Got by the first man diving for him, trying to get him. Harold Robertson, he missed it. And then I think Gamble closed, and they brought him down just across the 45-yard line. Here's the third down and seven. Low snap. Allen being chased after the low snap. Drug down and tackled back at the 35-yard line. 